There are three ways to get out of dialysis all kidney disease patients should know about. All these people just got their lives back in an epic, never seen before, life saving procedure. Gathering here, today's video is all about hope. Hope for those in need of a kidney transplant and hope for people in dialysis. Today, I want to share with you guys three reasons why the wait for a kidney may be finally over. Let's start with a huge step forward in the world of kidney transplant. This just made the headlines. Michael Wingard arrives at Houston Methodist Hospital with a cheerful. Howdy, I'm checking in. He's a young man with a healthy left kidney that's where it's always been, safely tucked up just below his rib cage. But in a couple of hours, a surgeon will remove the kidney and sew it into the body of a total stranger. It is the day before Michael Wingard turns 20. Yeah, it is, but I, I've barely been thinking about that. <laughs> so no cake, unfortunately. It'd be like jello or something like that. Michael Wingard is the first link in a 10-person chain of life. He's donating a kidney because Kaylin, his friend in Kerrville, has one that's failing. Michael's kidney doesn't match her blood or tissues, but transplant specialists at Houston Methodist know Michael's kidney can go to Heather, 30-year-old woman in Dayton, Texas, whose kidneys cannot clear waste from her blood. She and her twin sister, Stacy, have some incompatible antibodies. So, a 43-year-old woman will donate her kidney to Kayleen. So, her 72-year-old mother, Barbara, a great-grandmother, can receive a kidney from a 67-year-old man, David. And Stacy can give her kidney to a 47-year-old man named Javier. So, lives can go on. This 10-person procedure marks an important step forward, a beacon of hope for many people in need of a transplant. Transplanting kidneys from living donors greatly increases the number of kidneys available. And this means hope for many people because it's the best way to avoid dialysis. This is called the Paired Kidney Exchange Program. Question, why is swapping kidneys with strangers the best way to get more kidneys for transplants? Let's say that you need a kidney and you're so lucky that a relative, your spouse, or maybe a friend is willing to donate you one of theirs. Well, there is no guarantee that they will be able to do so. If there is no blood compatibility or no tissue compatibility, there is no match. This may be finally over, as we have seen. In a paired exchange, an incompatible donor or recipient pair, such as Michael Wingard and his friend Kaylin, that don't have a compatible blood types, are matched with another incompatible donor or recipient pair for a swap. Each donor gives a kidney to the other person's intended recipient. This can now be done even with 10 different people, making the chance to receive the perfect matching organ even better. And guys, even people that do not have a relative or a friend that can donate them a kidney have reason to be hopeful. It's recent news that xenotransplantation or transplants of animal organs into humans is no more confined to sci-fi movies. It has become reality. Animal to human xenotransplantation. After decades with little public attention, the quest to transplant animal organs to humans seems to have suddenly made stunning strides. The first kidney from a pig was transplanted to a human, also brain dead, patient in September 2021. It was a huge success. 
The procedure done at NYU Langone Health in New York City involved use of a genetically modified pig. The genes of this pig had been altered so that its tissues no longer contain a molecule known to trigger almost immediate rejection. This is what a genetically engineered pig kidney looks like, if you have been wondering by the way. And the reason why they have to genetically modify pig for them being able to donate organs is hyperacute rejection. This is why they actually implanted the kidney outside the body of the patient to see if it turned black or pink. It was a breathtaking experience for the transplant crew. The organ could have gone bad at any moment. If the body of the receiver decided that this kidney from a pig was a foreign object, it could have attacked it viciously. This would have turned the organ into a black, beaten mess. And it can happen even in human to human transplants, even if it's extremely rare. But it didn't happen. This is because the genes of this pig had been altered so that its tissues no longer contain a molecule known to trigger this kind of rejection. For three days, the new kidney was attacked to the blood vessel of the patient and maintained outside the body, giving researchers access to it. Test results of the transplanted kidney's function looked pretty normal, said transplant surgeon Dr. Robert Montgomery, who led the study. The kidney made the amount of urine that you would expect from a transplanted human kidney, he said, and there was no evidence of the vigorous early rejection seen when unmodified pig kidneys are transplanted into non-human primates. And what this means is that people will be able to get organs from animals instead of other people in a matter of years. This is what Dr. Robert Montgomery firmly believes. And he is putting this belief into practice as this team was able to perform this experiment with success two more times which is clearly a big deal. Organs from animals could be a solution to the organ shortage that's killing thousands of people sooner than any other competing alternative. The artificial kidney, 3D printed organs, and stem cell therapies, just to name a few. I mean, no man ever walked with a 3D printed organ, but there is a man, David Bennett, that walked for two months with a pig's heart. This is one of those events that changed the future forever. Things. He said, I don't want to die. And he said, if I do, maybe you'll learn something to help others. Bennett was deemed ineligible for a conventional heart transplant, but received a heart from a pig on January 7, 2022, just a week after the US FDA granted an emergency authorization for the surgery. The pig organs used in both surgeries came from a Virginia based biotechnology firm that's been working to produce genetically modified pigs since 2003. They're a spin-off from the company that cloned Dolly, the sheep in the 90s. After surgery, the transplanted pig heart performed well for several weeks and showed no signs of rejection. This heart is coming from the same kind of pig they are using for kidney transplants, by the way. Thanks to this organ, Bennett was able to spend time with his family and he even watched the Super Bowl. And even if he eventually died, this is still an incredible step forward for the field of xenotransplantation. A step that will change our future forever. Today, researchers are studying his case to determine if his death was due to transplanted heart or his pre-existing health problems. This is way more important than people realize because the public opinion on this matter is crucial for the future of xenotransplantation. Speaking of which, what is your opinion on this subject? Would you want a kidney or a heart 
from a pig. If you needed one and the transplant was considered safe, let me know in comment section. And guys, there is another way to avoid dialysis that has already been successfully employed in the past. This girl was able to avoid dialysis for four years when she was just 11. Her kidneys weren't working, but she wasn't able to bear being put on dialysis. The natural remedy doctors gave her to make her life normal again is quite incredible. When this girl was 11, her kidneys completely stopped working. She was required to undergo four sessions of intermittent peritoneal dialysis to control her symptoms. She was never able to experience the life of a normal girl and despite the conservative management therapy she was receiving, her growth was stunted. Everything changed when the doctors decided to test a natural remedy on her. This substance you see here has some incredible benefits. It's a completely natural form of dialysis. Best part, you can use this right now to protect and improve the health of your kidneys. I've shared everything you need to know about this in my video up here. Watch it now to know more. And this is all for today. Thank you for watching.